since DeMarcus Cousins decided to sign with the Golden State Warriors, everyone has been talking about how ridiculous it is for an already great team to become even better. While I'm one of the people in minority who thinks that 5 All-Stars doesn't mean instant success, others may think differently. Hello everyone, hope you're doing well, I'm Purple Prince and I want to talk about the last time an NBA team had 5 All-Star starters. It was 1975, and funny enough, Golden State Warriors won a championship that year. However, the best team after the regular season was the Boston Celtics. Celtics, along with the Washington Bullets, had the best record in NBA with 60 wins and 22 losses, but couldn't shift their regular season success losing to Bullets in the Eastern Conference Finals. The next 1975-76 season marked the 30th season for the Boston Celtics in the league, so they wanted to be something special. And they did something that we all remember just now, when Golden State reminded us that something like that is even possible. In 1975-76 NBA season, Boston Celtics were starting 5 All-Stars. After 1974-75 season, Celtics experienced quite a roster turnaround. Six players left Boston, but none of those players really were the core pieces of the Boston Celtics. Only two players who made real contributions were Paul Westphal and Don Chaney, who both scored close to 10 points per game for the Celtics. However, what they acquired was much better. Charlie Scott, a star for the Phoenix Suns, and a player who was an all-star and was scoring 24 plus points per game for the last three seasons in Phoenix. Other pieces that were part of the Boston Celtics now weren't as important. Instead, the focus around the league was that the Boston Celtics now possessed five all-stars in the starting lineup. Jojo White, Dave Callens, Charlie Scott, Paul Silas and John Havlicek. Here you go NBA. And to be honest, none of these players were all-stars like ages ago. They were voted as one of the best players in the league just recently. All five players of the Boston Celtics team were named All-Stars in 1975. Having five All-Stars in the starting lineup doesn't mean that everything else is good, and the biggest damage was dealt to the bench. The Celtics had a pretty weak bench which showed its ugly head in the regular season. And also, not all All-Stars were performing like All-Stars. Paul Silas, for example, averaged just 10.7 points per game and wasn't particularly effective with his 42% field goal percentage. He did average 12.7 rebounds, so he produced in other areas. All other Boston All-Stars averaged at least 17 points per game, but nobody averaged more than 20. The best scorer on the team was Dave Cowens, averaging 19 points and adding a cool 16 rebounds per game. The bench, however, was weak. Nobody of their bench played more than 14.7 minutes per game, but even then, they just weren't producing. Backup power forward slash center, Steve Kuberski, was solid, and Don Nelson provided 6.4 points in just 12 minutes per game, but otherwise, there was nothing to show. While the win-loss record wasn't great, Celtics were one of the best teams in the league. Their record of 54 wins and 28 losses was enough to secure the first place in the Eastern Conference. Celtics also secured a first round bye, so they had that extra rest before going into Eastern Conference semifinals against the Buffalo Braves. Games were very close, and the biggest victory margin was only 12 points. Every team managed to win the first two games on their home court, but the Celtics got a road win in Game 6, which was the final nail in the coffin for the Braves. Celtics win in 6 games and go on to the Eastern Conference Finals, where they met up with the Cleveland Cavaliers the same result. 2-2 after first four games with each team winning both of their first home games and once again Celtics win game number six on the road to move on to the NBA Finals. In the NBA Finals, Celtics met up with the Phoenix Suns, a team who gave Celtics their fifth All-Star. The final series was identical to all Celtics series in these playoffs, 2-2 after first four games. Game five though was a thriller. Boston managed to squeeze out a win after three overtimes, 128-126, to and then scored a win in Phoenix in Game 6. Celtics are the champions. With five All-Stars in the starting lineup, Boston were NBA champions once again. That season, only three Boston players made the All-Star team, Dave Callens, John Havlicek and Jojo White. 
After this season, one all-star left the team. Paul Silas left for the Denver Nuggets. I guess when you see the last example of five all-stars in the starting lineup, you kinda expect the same result next season. Everyone expects Golden State to become champions and they have every reason and player to achieve that. But if the regular season of the 1975-76 Celtics is any indication, it might not come as easy as everyone expects. And Cousins is coming off a devastating injury, so we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching guys. Which 5 all-star lineup would you prefer? Do you think that having 5 all-stars in the starting lineup is a guaranteed championship? Leave a comment below, like this video and subscribe for future NBA content. This was Purple Prince and I'm out. Right now, I just want you. Right now, 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 nice pack down, I'm shining. No lighthouse, you ask me, I'm right now. Shorty, she naughty, I put her on timeout